Hi guys and welcome back to Denise Beauty Corner. Today I wanted to do a little mini tutorial about how I am doing my concealer when I want to do like a full cover, full glam look as I did today. And uh, I just want to take you through the steps that I'm doing and how I am doing to prevent my concealer to crease throughout the night because there is nothing that is worse than having your concealer creasing under your eye when you are at a party or at an event or something. And I do have problem with my concealer creasing and I'm very picky with my concealers, but I have found some techniques that really helps my concealer to stay moisturized and to not crease throughout the night. I do have a very, very dry skin, so I also have some problems with my concealer being super drying underneath my eye area. So let's get started. But before we jump into the tutorial, I just wanted to say that if you do like this video, Video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already before you leave I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and be part of my YouTube family here because I do consider this as my beauty YouTube family now I already have foundations on so I'm just gonna go straight in with concealer and you want to prime your under eye area and you can use your primer that you are using in your whole face but I'm using this Smashbox it's a photo finish hydrating under eye primer so this is specially for under eye area but you can use any type of primer that you have I'm just using this because I have it already you just want to put this underneath your eyes and just dabbing it in with your fingers this can take away some creases and most of all it gives you hydration because I am super dry so I really need any moisture I can get so when you have worked in the primer, we're going to start with concealer. And what I'm going to use today is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And this is my absolute favorite for full cover concealer. And I'm going to take light medium honey, I think. I think that's a good match for me now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting one dot in each inner corner. Then I'm going to drag along down underneath my eye and then I'm going to take one middle like this so we are almost creating I don't want to put too much because well as I said I'm super dry so if I'm doing the whole triangle I think it's too much product with the Tarte Shape Tape I have some beams here so I am going to put a little bit here as well because I want to have more cover there and I'm also going to take just a little bit in my forehead because I'm super dry in my forehead and I, if I put too much con concealer it's gonna be cake face right away and a little bit on and now what I like to do is I like to go in with a brush first and I'm using this Morphe M335 and it's just like this small foundation brush and I'm going in with a brush first And I'm just going in roughly with a brush and then I'm starting to blend the areas around my eyes and I'm just using like damping motions here so I'm not swiping it I'm damping it and I'm damping it in the directions that I want and I'm taking the extra product that is left on my brush and using it as a primer for my eyeshadow on, my, on top of my eyelid doing the same on the other eye So what I like to do now is I'm going in with a beauty blender and it's to give it more moisture and also to make it more smooth. So my beauty blender is damp and I'm starting by pressing on top of my lid. Anywhere else that I put the concealer just to work it into my foundation. And then I'm gonna start underneath my eyes. So I'm looking up and I'm damping with a pointed side and pressing the product underneath my eyes and in the direction that I want the concealer to go. And you really want to make sure to take your time here and really press in the concealer and work with the concealer 
because if you're taking your time when you're putting your concealer on you don't have to touch up almost anything during the day so don't stress on this so now I'm gonna set the concealer and the best way for me to set my concealer at the moment if I'm doing a full cover like this is to use a translucent powder loose powder I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gonna use the same damp beauty blender that I just used and damping with a pointed side I'm damping my beauty blender in here so I get product and then I like to take the other side so here I have the product so I take the other side just once more looking up and going over it once more so I don't have any creases and then I'm going straight in with here I don't look down I'm going straight in with the product and setting my concealer like that so I didn't look down before I set it so one eye is ready now we're going to do the same with the other eye okay so my camera decided to die what I did was I was just setting my under my other eye so what I'm doing next is I'm just taking a little more product and I'm taking it from the lid of my loose powder and I'm just gonna go over my eye and just go over all the areas where I put the concealer so first I set my under eye and then I go over on my lid and like up here and everywhere where I put the concealer I'm not gonna put anything in my forehead because as I said I'm super dry there so I don't want to have too much cakiness going on so I don't set anything there so this is going to prevent your concealer from creasing and it's also a brightening effect. I don't like to go too crazy with a brightening under eye. I think it's not natural when it's too like bam brightening. So I like to have like this. It's a little bit brightening but not like very too much. This is optional, might seem like an unnecessary step but I like to be like 100% sure that I'm not gonna have any creases and that I really got everywhere in like the small areas so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a pressed powder and I'm using the wet n wild photo focus this is my absolute favorite pressed powder and I'm using a little brush like this and this is a very dense brush and this is also an angled brush you can use any brush you want and I'm just gonna take a little product and take it on the tip as well on the brush and I am gonna go in like in my inner corner area and just damp this underneath my eyes looking up and just going where I have the most creases going on and this is just to make sure that those creases will not appear I'm not I'm only doing this step when I'm doing like a very full cover look so this is my full cover concealer routine that I'm doing at the moment and now I'm just gonna finishing off the rest of my makeup because this looks a little bit crazy don't you think? 